Whenever I talk about YouTube ads, most people think about in-stream ads. Now remember, those are the ones that show up before you go to watch a video, um, and you have the option to skip them. But there's actually another type of YouTube ad that is way too overlooked, and it's called an in-feed video ad. Now today I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set one up and explain why they're so awesome. So over here, as you can see, I am actually being targeted by Billie Jean with an in-feed ad, right? So over here, you can see this is actually an in-feed ad. So I hover over it. Um, if you are gonna be using an in-feed ad, I recommend that you have captions, by the way, right? So um, this is what we've got right here, these little captions, but you can come over here, you can actually click on this video. Now this is a 12 minute video, not the best for in-stream, but if I click on this video right here, I am then coming on over to- Can I show you Billie's something that kind of messed ad, right? me up? And the cool thing is he actually has a call to action on this, right? So pretty cool stuff. Um, you got the companion banner, all of that. But um, these types of ads can work extremely well for retargeting because you can actually target people that are you know, on specific lists that have visited your website, anything like that. You can actually target them with these in-feed ads uh, and they have cool buttons here. Now you only pay if somebody hovers over this and like watches uh, like, I think it's like 10 seconds, or it might be 30 with these. Um, but if somebody hovers over it and they're like reading and watching, that counts as a view, but they have to hover over and watch it for a little while, or it counts as a view if they click on it or if they click the learn more button. Now, one thing that I will say, like I said, um, first of all, you gotta use subtitles if you're gonna be using these because you hover over them and boom, you can, you know, there's no sound, right? So you definitely have to do that. Um, but the other thing I'll say is you actually get to use a, cu a custom thumbnail. So you can actually set up something that looks similar to this, right? And this is like, a, this is basically a display ad placed on YouTube, uh, this Walmart of auto insurance one, but you can throw all your branding up on this and get a lot of extra exposure as well. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. I'll show you exactly how to set these types of ads up. So we are in our Google ad campaign or Google ad uh, account over here. And I went and I created a new campaign. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, one is you can create a campaign without a goals guidance, or you can go awareness and consideration, right? Um, so if I go awareness and consideration, I'm gonna choose a video campaign over here. I'm gonna go video views and you can see in feed ads over here. Uh, and if you do create a campaign without a goals guidance, um, you can also see, you know, you get your in feed ads over here as well, all that good stuff. So um, either one you can choose, but I will go awareness and consideration, we'll go video campaign and video views, right? We'll click continue. Um, I like to do a daily total or daily budget. Um, for this one, you know, maybe I'll throw five bucks a day at it just to continually get views to this. Now, one thing that I will say is if you are doing this, you should probably create a retargeting list over here in tools and settings uh, in your audience manager. You can actually create a retargeting list of everybody that has viewed this video. Definitely something you're gonna to wanna to do, uh, and I do have another video on that uh, on our blog, and I will link to that below this video. So um, all good to go there, it'll be in the, the description of this video, right? So I'm just gonna name this, this might be uh, retargeting with YouTube ads uh, in feed, right? And I'll probably throw a date on it, which is uh, February 2nd, 2-2-24, right? That's when I'm creating this. Target CPV. Now, this is the cost per view that you're going to pay. So that's, you know, you can't really change that with these types of campaigns. Uh, and then the networks. I like to turn off video partners on the display network. Um, I just want my ads on YouTube, right? Now, where do I want this scene? So here's like the normal ones we target. You could choose where you want it to be shown, all countries and territories, United States, you know, whatever. I'm gonna leave mine there, uh, and then you're gonna put what language this is in. I usually do not add related videos, and I turn off multi-format ads, right? So just turn that off. Additional settings, I like to turn off uh, TVs, right? Uh, so I'll just go ahead and turn off TVs right there. And, um, Boom, we are good to go there. So this one I'm just gonna call uh, keywords because I'm gonna be targeting via keyword. So the cool thing about these in-feed ads is, um, and I'm actually going to be setting up this as an ad, right? Uh, we just published this a few minutes ago. I'm gonna be setting this up as an ad. And normally if somebody did a Google or a YouTube search for like, um, let's see, if I come over here and it's uh, retargeting with YouTube ads, right? Maybe that's what I wanna rank for. Um, 
I would want to, and you can actually see here, here's like, uh, mine will basically show up right up here as an in-feed ad, but you can see I'm not actually showing up here because I just published this. So this is a way for me to really shortcut my way to the very top of the, um, you know, the very top of the search engine results, right? So that's kind of what we're doing there, right? So uh, I'll just call this keyword targeting. I can choose my demographics, you know, who do I want to target? Um, you know, what, you know, what is it is, you know, demographics, age, parental status, household income, um, audience segment. So if I am doing retargeting, right, like, because that video is about retargeting, if I want to retarget people, I can go over here to uh, my data segments, and I can target people who have visited websites. So, um, you know, anybody who has visited, um, you know, my landing page or what, you know, whatever it might be, I can retarget those people and I can put a custom thumbnail, which by the way, over here, um, if you edit these videos, uh, this is where you put your custom thumbnail. So I have a custom thumbnail on this one right here, but we can throw up branding, you know, Hey, last chance, whatever you want to put on there. It's just extra ad copy. So pretty cool stuff right there. Then, um, you know, I'm actually going to target with keywords, but that is where you find your retargeting audiences, right? So keywords, what do I want to target? So I want to target people who are, uh, you know, YouTube ad retargeting, uh, how to run your, you know, YouTube ad best practices. And uh, obviously, you'll kind of go through, you'll figure out the best keywords that you want to be ranking for, um, you know, how to... how to retarget um, YouTube with YouTube ads, things like that, right? So I throw a few of those keywords in. Um, we do have a keyword planner in TubeSift. You can use that and you can see over here, I'm gonna get like 100 million impressions, all that good stuff, right? Um, so I'm just gonna throw my keywords in here. Then I'm going to pop my video over here. So I've got my video ready to go. I'm gonna paste that video that I wanna promote right here. And I'm just gonna choose in feed ad. Now it lets me choose my thumbnail or do I want one of the ones that comes here? I am going to choose my thumbnail right here, right? Um, then I'm just gonna throw my headline in here and it might be boost your sales with YouTube ad retargeting. Uh, step by step. You know, and then this I might say, um, you know, they don't like a lot of capitalization. Something like that, step-by-step -step guide to retargeting with YouTube. Um, you know, must have for any business owner, right? Or must do, you know, something like that. Whatever I want to put there. Um, that is literally it. So I just fill my description. I name this, so this would be like retargeting tutorial video. That's it. That's literally what I do here. Here is my ad right here. You know, I can duplicate this. I can swap some things out. And this is cool. I can actually like test different thumbnails as well. So if I went to duplicate this and, you know, I could test a few different thumbnails, see what's doing the best. I could test some different ad copy, see what's getting me the you know, highest view for impressions and all that kind, all that kind of stuff, because that's something they definitely look at. Uh, and then over here, you can say, hey, or you see, hey, they want me to pay like 10 cents per view, right? So I'll go ahead and throw 10 cents per view in here, and boom, we are good to go. You can see over here, I'm going to pay two to 10 cents a view. It's going to spend all my budget. I'm going to get this many impressions, um, and we are good to go. That is the step-by-step -step setup for these in-feed video ads. And, um, you know, they work extremely well. One thing that I will say in this, right, and uh, what you're going to want to do is if you're setting these types of ads up without that call to action, you are going to want to put a link in your description, right? So, um, you know, in this video, I mentioned a couple of things that I'm going to, you know, hey, you can check out this, you can check out this, blah, blah, blah. Just put the link in the description and then also, you're going to want to, um, you know, you're gonna to want to um, pin the comment, right? So you're gonna come over here and I might say, um, you know, here's a you know, full YouTube ad tutorial or whatever, right? So uh, I would come over here and I would just pin this and I would go, um, here's my registration page for my webinar. And I'm just gonna make sure that, you know, I have this right here and I'm going to comment that and I'm going to pin it. 
right? So uh, click these three dots and I'm gonna pin that. So that's my main call to action. I want people to watch my content, be like, oh, this is good. And then be like, yes, I like this. I want to you know, watch the webinar, learn more from this person. So that is the step-by-step -step guide. If you did like this, please give me that thumbs up, um, leave a comment, Subscribe to the channel would be awesome. And um, oh yeah, you can always preview your ads over here as well. You can kind of see what they're gonna look like. Um, you know, YouTube search right there, uh, all that good stuff. So thanks so much for watching and I uh, hope you got a lot out of this video. That's it for me, bye for now.